Isn't life a mysterious mixture of weird and wonderful? With the current pandemic, it's clear that there's a lot that none of us as human beings fully understand. I mean, most days we wake up, we grab a cup of coffee, and we do our best to survive the day, accepting that good and bad may equally show up along the way. And while we're quarantined to our homes, maybe it feels even crazier out of control. Each of us experience good parts as well as really hard parts along the way in our frail and beautiful story. And it's in the dings and the struggle, the pain and the suffering, a COVID pandemic, a child needing another round of chemo, heartbreaks, grief, or fear that pushes beyond our limits that Jesus seems most interested. Pain and suffering is part of our lives as humans. And Jesus doesn't bring a small little box of band-aids. He brings a supernatural help and healing. And if we're honest, it's what we all need right now. And God wants to make a deal with us. If we'll hand over our fear and insecurities, and we let go of our moralistic religion and bravely admit our secrets, He'll heal our hearts and He'll give us a new life. Our Heavenly Father doesn't add conditions to His love for you. He doesn't approach you with guarded politeness or condescendingly pat you on the head and squeeze your dirty cheeks. He simply invites you to jump into His arms and let Him be your source of love and identity. If you're like me, you may have lost your identity in lots of things over and over throughout your journey. And if you and I were in person together right now uh, and you told me your story, maybe of how scared you are, that you feel like a screw up, or maybe that you've been pretending to be okay, or that you're fully addicted to work or whatever, or that something else is showing up big time for you right now and you just don't know where it even came from, or you just really wish a friend would call to see if you're okay. If you had any of those things to say, I'd hold your hand from across the table in a non-weird sort of way, especially right now, and maybe with an antibacterial wipe, and look into your eyes and tell you, you are loved more than you could possibly know, and everything is gonna be okay. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. While reading through the Bible, there are lots of stories uh, you find. But again and again, I find that God's favorites are ordinary people like you and me, messed up in so many ways. God is compassionate on the know-it-all prodigal, the runaway sheep, the cunning thieves, the selfish hoarders, the liars, the addicts and more. And we can rest in the truth that we have a Father who hears our feeble prayers. Maybe some of you have mighty prayers. Mine can be pretty feeble. And He knows that we're fickled. He knows we're flawed. And He is for you. He wipes away our tears of sadness and regret and He gives grace. His eyes are filled with kindness even when we spill the Cheerios, burn the toast, and blame the kids for it. Jesus is for you, and He really wants to help you. Whoever you are, whatever you've done, wherever you've been, whatever your story may be, you can always come to God. And grace is waiting for you. Your Heavenly Father welcomes and celebrates when you come home. He invites you to come in, and He says, we've been waiting for you. The Psalms provide us with a way to think and pray through various threats and struggles we face. Our enemies today may not be the same as biblical times, but they're no less real. Consider our current threats or those on the horizon. Some may be local, some may be regional, national, and others more personal. Still, they come to surround us and destroy us if they could only get a chance. The reality is there are times when our enemies seem to have the upper hand and our cause is lost. We feel like we're going to go under. But wait and listen to the psalm. All is not lost because ultimately God is our light. He's our help. He's our rescuer. The darkness is going to lift and the Savior will come. He'll settle all scores 
and will live in the beauty of his presence. In Psalm 27, one through six, the voice translation says this, the eternal is my light amidst my darkness and my rescue in times of trouble. So whom shall I fear? He surrounds me with a fortress of protection so nothing should cause me harm or alarm. When my enemies advanced to devour me alive, they tripped and fell flat on their faces into the soil. When the armies of the enemy surround me, I will not be afraid. When death calls for me in the midst of war, my soul is confident and unmoved. I'm pleading with the eternal for this one thing, my soul's desire to live with him all the days in the shadow of his temple, to behold his beauty and ponder his ways in the company of his people. Verse five, his house is my shelter in secret retreat. It is there I find peace. In the midst of the storm and turmoil, safety sits with me in the hiding place of God. He will set me on the rock high above the fray. God lifts me high above those with thoughts of death and deceit that call for my life. And finally, I will enter his presence, offering sacrifice and praise. In his house, I'm overcome with joy as I sing, yes, and play music for the eternal alone. I used to sing a song uh, with some of those uh, words, and it just reminds me of how we can sing and celebrate in the midst of the fray and fury of this day. Keep your eyes centered on Jesus. He is fighting for you, and he is near. So let's wrap up uh, with prayer. Father, in the middle of the storm, we put our hope in you. Nothing we face today is more powerful than you. Would you help us, please? We trust you. You're the sustainer of life. You're eternal. You're powerful, present, timeless. We want to see your will and way more clearly. Help us. Hear our cry and reveal yourself to us. We are so desperate for more of you. Thank you for your love, grace, peace, and comfort through your powerful spirit with us. We just pray this and lift this in Jesus' name. Amen.